welcome back to the channel. So right here we have Ruby. Been sitting all nice and pretty since uh, the last show we went to. But today we're gonna be taking off battery covers, windshield cow, and the radiator cover because we're gonna go get those hydro dipped in carbon. <laughs> so we're gonna be going with H2O Creations. Let me better yet, let me open up the hood real quick. Yeah, so we're gonna be taking off that battery cover, that battery cover, the whole windshield cowl, and this uh, radiator cover. So I'm gonna take these stickers off and then we're gonna send that out to get hydro dip. But damn, look at that engine bay. But all everything that you see in plastic will be hydro dipped in carbon. And the reason being I'm going hydro dip carbon is because this part needs to flex because of the conversion kit. So if I do real carbon, it can be, it could possibly break and I don't, I definitely want to avoid that. So that's why we're going with um, hydro dip carbon instead. So I'm going to take these off real quick and then we're going to head over to George's because he's going to be doing the exact same thing on his. All right. So I got all my plastics out, the whole trim around on the front. So let's load this up, head out with George. We'll be on our way. But here we have Jonathan. Yeah. Yeah. So Jonathan, he's going to be doing the work for all the parts. So we have a shit ton of parts right here for you, man. Nice. Only problem on mine, I did them before. I don't know. Dip. Yeah. I don't know if you, uh, if you got something to clean that off. Yeah. I'll just probably pressure wash what I can and then just sand the rest off. For sure. Appreciate you, bro. Cool. Yeah. yeah, so these are mine right here, and then these are his, and then he, I yeah, guess... Question on this one. Mm -hmm. You think it's possible to do red carbon fiber to carbon, and then the black outside, or um, what do you think? We might be able to get it, because uh, it's kind of at an angle down there, so on, when this is installed, is any of this covered, like down here in the, in the valleys? No. Yeah. No, uh, it's not. No, it doesn't show. Right? It's all pretty visible, or is it kind of hidden a little bit? It's kind of hidden a little bit. Yeah, yeah. The, the film will stretch as it's because I'm gonna come at it like this, so it's gonna kind of like wrap around, and it'll kind of stretch into these areas. But I mean, it's gonna be like way in there, down yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The bottom, so you won't really be able to tell. But I mean, yeah, we could probably do that. We that, can. That, uh, that would look sick. Yeah, we do a red carbon yeah. and then the black. That's do you have red carbon in stock? Or for no? for the red carbon, we do a a, a silver carbon fiber and we just spray a red candy over it hmm. so it, it looks it looks pretty sweet because a little bit more depth too with the candy coats that's gonna look sick yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. cool man right. i take a mold of the original emblems yeah and then i i just make them with like forged carbon fiber and like little flakes yeah. and shit this one so glows clean. in the dark right here but yeah i sell these people buy these a lot because you know most of the engine cover emblems they fall off because because they're held on with like little uh like one millimeter studs and those fuckers always break off after yeah the getting brittle with the heat and then just the vibrations Duh. yeah they're exact replicas but these are some older ones i did oh it's got like the purple tint huh yeah a little purple flakes on oh, it that's the one you want huh yeah, <laughs> yeah i saw that I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh yeah yeah i got purple glow in the dark i got some crazy stuff man i could do uh all kinds of stuff so it's just like a like a glow like a shirt glow in the dark type of thing so it's yeah. like it, it charges up with the light or black light will supercharge it real quick too for sure my bad i mean you're integra yeah it's my little project no. <laughs> i'm guessing you did the wing yourself huh yeah, yeah you got some I, I, I going carbon i spilled clear on it i, I yeah I, <laughs> <laughs> but you can I'm, tell this is a one-off wing for sure yeah i was in a rush and i like i started burning through and i was like spilling the clear coat yeah because my wife anytime i get to do personal projects i try to hurry up and yeah and but i mean that shit looks dope though with the yeah. hex, hexagon carbon and then you got the porch carbon i got a little bit of the hex right there showing though so i gotta do a little touch up yeah So it's been about a week now 
almost a week and we are arriving parts are ready for pickup let's check them out what's up working on this teggy <laughs> oh, for sure. Shit. Yeah, this one's yours. Yeah. Damn. I thought I could make this emblem work with it, like over it, but it, it still doesn't. It doesn't cover it. I had this oh, okay. thing just fucking lying around somewhere. Yeah, yeah, it's just candy coated, like forged carbon and. Oh shit! That looks dope. Yeah. Yeah. Just practicing something like that. Nah, the manifold cover came out dope yeah, as yeah, far as just clean. Ooh, there's everything there. Shit. And then uh, I think I think that one and that one are a little like tacky still. Those are the last two I cleared, but it should be fine. I don't know. It seems pretty good. I just be careful installing them today For sure. or tomorrow. So this one's my battery cover. This one goes on the driver's side like that. Where is it? Yeah. Jeez. I got like four coats of clear on everything, so. Cool. I'll do a little wet sand and buff on some things. It's pretty much everything. Hell yeah, bro. So it look nice though with those turbos. Yeah. <laughs> Alright Jonathan, deal, appreciate man. it. Yeah. If you guys ever need any hydro dip, carbon work, hit them up. H2 creations. <laughs> but IG down below guys, hit them up for any work. Alright, so we are finally back home. Ruby's a little dirty, but sheesh. Look at that. Let's get these engine covers on, see how it's gonna look like. All right, so here we have a bunch of the parts. GTR cover looks amazing. Look at that. So I think this one's mine. And then I think this one's mine. I, no, this one's George's. It's kind of hard to tell which is which. They all look alike. And I think this one's George's as well. Yeah, that's George's. So this one's, yeah, this one has mine because it has the covers on it. So this part is going to go in first. Look at that. So let's get this in. Then we'll get the battery covers in as well. I don't even know where the other cover's at. And then we'll get the radiator cover in as well. All right, so first things first, just get all these gaskets out of the way. And then this one basically slides right in here. Gotta be careful, watch out with the teeth. It's supposed to grab it on. <laughs> I'm like already picture it. It's looking good. <laughs> oh, I'm excited for this. So I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and put all this in, and then I'll get back with with you guys because I want to be as careful as I can. It's kind of hard to do it with uh, one hand. So let me get to it, and then you guys will see the finished product. Yep. So here we have it, guys. It's not fully clipped on yet. I need to find, figure out where I left all my clips, but that's basically the idea of how it looks now. Look at that. Yeah. I have a little fitment issue here with my cover, but I'll figure that out later on. But for now, this is the final look on her definitely definitely way better than having the normal black plastic trim that I it, that it comes with and then this one since I cut it up on the edge of course it's not perfect but you know I wanted to show off the radiator and the fans down here fully polished so that's why I have it cut it up like that so I need to put bolt it back on 
because this is basically what holds up the bumper. So that's why I, I couldn't do uh, real carbon on this because I need this part to flex. And if I know if I do real carbon, it's not going to flex. And if it does, <laughs> it's going to crack. So that's the whole reason I had to go with the hydro dip theme. And since I was going to go with hydro dip on here, might as well do the rest to have it all matching. But hydro dip carbon, real carbon, you can see literally almost looks identical. All right, so here we are with George's parts. I'm gonna be putting his on back on, but right here we have GTR manifold and hydro dip cover. Look at that. Ooh, there we go. Look at that. That looks badass. So at the bottom is going to be 24K roll plated. So, oh yeah. So, what you guys know? Polish? Yeah. Wait, polish or gold plated? Well, it was going to go polish first and then. Polish and gold plated. Yeah. That's the so, it's going to it's gonna look badass right there. All right, let's put it on your stuff. And then we'll be finishing up. All right, so there we have it. George's car is done. As you can see, literally looks like carbon fiber right here, as you guys can see in the video. Real carbon, hydro dip carbon. Look at that. Look at that. You guys can see it right here. Hydro hydro dip carbon and we got the real carbon look at that <coughs> yep gtr manifold sneak peek how it's all gonna look like i think he's gonna be going soho single turbo case so he's gonna have a turbo mounted right there so that's gonna be looking badass see the carbon you see the carbon cowl it's a lot harder to see in the video but out here in person it stands out a lot more than the plastic definitely looks so much better just got the carbon carbon look at that hell yeah All right, guys, so that's going to be the end of today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, huge shout out to, again, to H2O Creations for getting the uh, engine bay looking even better than what it was. But turbo soon. I'm not exactly sure on a set date for that, but soon. And also another huge announcement that you guys will see later on. So uh, stay tuned for that. Super excited. But again, thank you guys for always supporting the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.